As a family of seven, we've been in quarantine since COVID first hit for a total of four months. We're actually in quarantine right now because what tends to happen is one person gets COVID and then the next person catches it and then we isolate or we go into quarantine and then someone else catches it and it ends up being a long time, just like the 45 days of isolation we experienced in Italy whenever COVID first hit. So we've come up with some really good ways to use that time in any time whenever you're stuck at home or whenever you're stuck somewhere with some free time. And I've come up with 40 ideas on things you can do. And I'm gonna put links below to the things that I talk about. It's not a bunch of affiliate links. I'm not getting paid for any of these. These are just some things that you can do. Let's get started. Please subscribe for more videos on money, minimalism, our travel journey around the world, different family tips, Christian living, all kinds of different things. We publish a new video every week. 40 things to do is a lot. And to keep this more organized, I've broken it down into six categories. Number one, minimize. Number two, socialize. Number three, exercise. Number four, learn. Number five, create. And number six, relax. Let's get into it. Minimize. Was it a coincidence that all these quarantines and COVID hit during the spring? Was it some sort of government conspiracy theory to get you into some spring cleaning and organizing your home? Probably. So we're gonna start with some ways to declutter and make your home a more enjoyable place to be stuck in. Number one, declutter by room. Tackle a new room each day. It's okay if it goes into multiple days, but just go through each item one room at a time and ask yourself if you really need each item. You can ask yourself if it sparks joy, however you wanna do it. Just ask yourself what you actually need and go room by room. Number two, take a declutter challenge. Give yourself and your kids a time limit to declutter a certain area, or give yourself and your kids a certain number of things to get rid of. I'll put a link in the description to different challenges that you can do. Number three, declutter your car. Take all of the non-essential things out of your car. Chances are you can take a lot of stuff out of there if it's been a while since you've cleaned it up. While you're at it, take this time to detail and clean the inside and the outside of your car. Watch some YouTube videos and use this as a time to get better at detailing your car and learn more things about it. I'll link a tutorial on interior and exterior cleaning in the description. And if you want a really deep clean, you can find a video out there that shows you how to deep clean your specific car. Almost every car is probably on YouTube with a tutorial on how to clean it. Number four, declutter your closet. Go through and pull every everything out of your closet, and I mean everything, try it on if you need to, get rid of the things that don't fit, get rid of the things that you don't wear, and just in general declutter your closet. Number five, declutter your pantry. Start by going through things that are expired, and I know just because the expiration date is passed that doesn't necessarily mean you have to get rid of it, but you can be the judge of that. Get rid of all the old spices you don't use. Get rid of those bottles of protein that you've neglected for years. Purge. Number six, declutter your garage. This is where we started when we first got quarantined in Italy. Our garage was the only storage we had in our entire house. They don't even have closets. We were able to amass a mountain of donations that we got rid of as soon as we were free from quarantine. Number seven, declutter your computer or your phone. How many folders do you have on your computer that you haven't used in ages? How many apps do you have on your phone that you never use anymore? You can actually go through and look at when the last time was you used them and anything that's more than six months ago, get rid of it. The same goes for the folders on your computer. Clean them up, delete the stuff you don't need, organize them. Number eight, sort your photos. If you're a normal person, you probably have a bunch of useless photos in your photo library. So start cleaning those out. Take out all the photos that you took by accident. Take out all the photos that your kids took whenever you weren't around. All the blurry photos. The ones that you took just to remember something, but you don't need that anymore. The burst photos whenever you meant to take one photo or two photos and you accidentally took 230 photos. And then sort the rest so you can actually find them whenever you're looking through your photos and looking for certain photos. Socialize. This may be a weird topic to include, especially if you're in quarantine or if you're doing this whenever no one else is around, but even within your family, you can still socialize. As a family of seven, we can do a lot of socializing. Number nine, play board games. There are plenty of great board games out there. It's a great way for your family to spend time together. And I'll link an article that I did on 50 plus financial board games that you can buy most of on Amazon. So you can teach your kids about money in a way that they'll actually enjoy. Number 10, talk to each other. It's amazing how people can spend so much time in their home together and never talk to each other. Put the phones down, turn off the computers, 
and have some conversations. Number 11, watch family movies. Movies aren't the best way to interact with each other because you're not really gonna talk to each other, but it is fun for relaxing and to still spend some time around each other. Maybe there's some movies you've been avoiding because of their length. Maybe there's a marathon you wanna do. If you're in quarantine or if you're just stuck at home in general, it's the perfect time to bring those movies out. When we were in quarantine the first time, I started bringing some classic comedies out so that my wife can understand all the movie references I make on a daily basis. Number 12, call or text old friends. I've started going through my phone and anyone I haven't messaged in over a year, I just shoot them a message and see how they're doing. Spark some good conversation and you get to catch up with people without relying on social media. Number 13, have a date night. Can't leave the house right now? That's fine, just lock yourself in the living room and have a date night with your spouse. If your kids are too young to be left alone, wait until their nap time. Number 14, teach your dog new tricks. If you're locked up, this is the perfect time for you to look up some YouTube videos and some tricks you can teach your dog. Socializing isn't just for people, it's for animals too. Exercise. Depending on if you're allowed to leave your house or not, you can most likely go for a walk or even a hike. I know most places will let you do that even if you're in quarantine as long as you're not around other people. Or you could even go to the beach. So number 15, run or walk. Go for a run to clear your mind. If you don't run and you're interested in starting a running habit, I'll put a link below to a great guide on how to start that. If you absolutely just don't want to run, go for a walk. This is a great time to build up one of these habits. Number 16, hike. If you don't live near any sort of mountains or hills whatsoever, this may not be an option for you. We lived near the foothills of the Italian Alps for years, and now we live in Japan where we have a lot of access to great mountains, so we can go for a hike. If you can do that, get out there and start hiking. Number 17, do home workouts. There's a plethora of workouts out there on YouTube. You can find dance workouts, you can find simple workouts, you can find impact-free workouts, any type of workout you need is going to be on YouTube. Now, I remember whenever the quarantine first started, there was actually people doing rooftop workouts for other people around their neighborhood. But that may not be an option for you, but it was interesting. Number 18, do an exercise challenge. You can look up plenty of challenges. There's a lot out there, or you could just start your own. If you haven't done push-ups in a while, consider a push-up challenge. Start by doing one, and the next day do two and then three, and so on and so forth. See how much you can build it up while you're stuck at home. Number 19, yoga. I know yoga has an Eastern religion orientation to it, and a lot of it may have started there, and that's why that's happened, but there's also plenty of Christian yoga instructors out there. I'll put a link below to a really good one to get you started if you're interested in that. It's a great way for stretching and just clearing your mind. Learn. Your kid's school may have went digital whenever COVID first hit. I know it did for our kids, but even if it hasn't, there's still plenty of ways to learn at home. Number 20, learn to budget. It would make me so happy if you use this time to learn to budget as a financial coach. I know your number one goal in life is probably to make me happy, so it makes sense for you to use this time to learn how to budget. There's plenty of tools out there for budgeting. I'll put some links below to help you get started. Number 21, take online classes. If you're already enrolled in school, use this time to get caught up or to work ahead on your classes. If you're not enrolled in school, I'll put plenty of links in the description on some places that you can actually take free classes online. Number 22, visit online museums. From the British Museum in London to the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., there are plenty of places that actually give free virtual tours online. I'll put a link below with some tours you can start with. Number 23, learn to cook. Since everyone knows that YouTube is the master teacher when it comes to life skills, use this time to watch some videos and learn how to cook. If you already know how to cook, learn how to cook some new things. There are plenty of resources out there that will teach you how to cook. Professional chefs do it. And there are even videos out there so you can teach your kids how to cook. Number 24, learn a new hobby. If you've ever thought about taking up a new hobby, if you have some ideas or if you want to find some ideas, you can do that online. Use this as a time to start a new hobby. I'll put a link below with 50 ideas to help. 25, learn to garden. If you're stuck at home, this is the perfect time to start a garden. If you don't want to take it that far, just learn how to do it. I'll link a great guide below for beginners. And even if you don't have the location now for a garden, you can still learn the basics. Or consider doing some landscaping to increase the curb appeal of your home. Number 26, learn a new language. You're probably not going to become fluent if you're stuck at home for a couple weeks, but you can use this time to learn a new language or to start learning a new language. There's plenty of great apps out there and plenty of free ways to get started. Number 27, read. I would assume you probably have a lot of books at home, whether digital or physical, that you can start reading. Maybe you've been meaning to read them for a while and you just haven't made it to them. This is a great time to start reading those books. Or why not start a new Bible study? Number 28, watch a documentary. Netflix saves the day when it comes to documentaries, but if you don't have Netflix or if you've already watched all of those, go to YouTube. 
I'll link a ridiculous amount of documentaries below that you can get right here on YouTube. 29. Watch a free seminar. There are plenty of seminars that people paid thousands of dollars to attend that are actually for free right here on YouTube. I've watched a lot of them and I'll put some links in the description to some of the best ones that I've seen. Create. Get creative in multiple senses. New Zealand actually did a study that showed creativity increases happiness. And I think that's easy to see. It's a mood booster and there's probably more ways to get creative than you think. Number 30, learn to draw or paint. Have you always wanted to create some sort of art? This is a great time to do it if you're stuck at home. I'll link some tutorials on how to start drawing. I'll link some tutorials on how your kids can start learning how to draw. I also have a good resource on how your kids can learn how to draw animals so you and your kids can learn how to do art together. Again, YouTube wins the day on teaching you all of these things. Number 31, learn to play an instrument. As a musician sitting in a room with a drum set and three guitars, I think learning an instrument is extremely valuable. I'll put some links below on how to get started with guitar, how to get started with drums, how to get started with bass, how to get started with piano. There are great resources for all of those things and I'll put some links below. If you want to get really crazy with it and play something that nobody else is playing, find an instrument like my wife did, a hurdy-gurdy. She got one and she's already learned a lot of hymns and she's already learned a lot of different aspects to playing it. And it's a very unique instrument. It's a very awesome instrument. 32. Start writing. Maybe you've always wanted to write a book, or you want to start a blog, or you just want to write poetry, or maybe you just want a journal. Whatever it is, this is a great time to start writing. I wrote the majority of one of my books when I was in quarantine. Number 33, learn to crochet or knit. Being stuck at home is a great time for knitters and crocheters. Crocheters. I don't know if that's what they're called, but I'm gonna go with it. Of course, you can find plenty of videos out there on how to knit, how to crochet, all of those things on YouTube. Number 34, start a project. Whether you have an entire woodworking shed or some crafts and a kitchen table, you can find a project to start with your family. Build a bookshelf, create a family cookbook, make a family puppet show. The options are endless. Relax. Among all of the options to use this time for being super productive or conquering the world, you could also just take this time to chill. Number 35, sleep in. It's definitely not great for your schedule to sleep in every weekend, but if you're stuck at home for a while, this is a great time for you to get some extra rest. Number 36, take naps. Recharge and get this time to rest while you have it. Naps can make you more productive and sleep repairs your body, so it's a win-win. Number 37, meditate. If you have the extra time at home, it's a great time to start a meditation habit. If you've never done it before, you can start as simply as focusing on your breath, and trying to keep focusing on your breath and centering it back on that. Or you can do some guided meditation. I'll put some links below to some great guided meditations to get you started, including some great Christian meditation. Number 38, stretch. Increasing flexibility can increase your mood and your fitness level through releasing endorphins. The bottom line, it's gonna make you feel better. Number 39, listen to music. Once again, as a musician, I know that music is often something that's in the background, something that you listen to while you're doing something else but consider taking some time to just listen to and appreciate music for what it is. Number 40, take lots of baths. A lot of people find that nothing is more relaxing than taking a warm or a hot bath on a cool day or taking a hot bath on a super cold day. As someone who lives in a location with 200 inches of snow a year, I know that a hot bath is a great way to relax whenever it's cold outside. It all comes down to using your time wisely. So whether you're stuck at home or whether you just have a bunch of extra free time, Use this time wisely, productively, and to recharge your body. Please subscribe for more videos on money, minimalism, our travel journey around the world, different tips like this for families. If you do plan to use this time to read, you can check out my book, Intentional Children. I'll put a link below in the description to that. I actually wrote the majority of that book while I was in one of our quarantine periods. That is all for today. I will see you next week.